Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Finance Lawrence Wong is on a working visit to the United States from Thursday to October 15, the Prime Minister's Office PMO said in a statement on Thursday. The visit aims to build on the robust and multifaceted relationship between Singapore and the US, the statement added. Mr. Wong will visit a Republic of Singapore Air Force RSAF detachment in Arizona, attend several events in New York City and meet cabinet secretaries and other officials in Washington. In Arizona, he will visit Peace Coven II, the SAF's F-16 fighter training detachment at Luke Air Force Base. Established in 1993, it is the SAF's longest-running overseas detachment. In New York, Mr. Wong, who was appointed Deputy Chairman of the GIC from October 1, will attend the GIC Investment Forum. He will also launch a new Global Innovation Alliance GIA node in New York. The GIA, led by Enterprise Singapore, is a network of Singapore and overseas partners in major innovation hubs and key markets. And the node aims to support the expansion of Singapore-based tech startups into New York and the wider U.S. market. In Washington, Mr. Wong is scheduled to meet cabinet secretaries and senior officials from the Biden administration. The meetings will discuss ways to further bilateral cooperation in new emerging areas, the PMO said. Mr. Wong will also deliver opening remarks at the inaugural U.S.-Singapore Dialogue on Critical and Emerging Technologies and participate in a dialogue at the Center for Strategic and International Studies SISE. The think tank said the event is part of its SISE ASEAN Leadership Forum, the premier Washington venue for senior officials from Southeast Asian countries and other key dialogue partners to address pressing issues before a Washington-based policy audience. On the visit with Mr. Wong, our Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan, Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo, and Minister of State for Culture, Community and Youth and Trade and Industry Alvin Tan. Mr. Wong will also be accompanied by officials from the PMO and the Foreign Affairs and Finance Ministries.